Hi everybody, it's Megan. As always, I hope all of you guys are doing wonderful. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review on the newly added Louis Vuitton bag, the Louis Vuitton Boat Chapeau Souple PM. Before I dive right into that, I do want to let everybody know that does not know that I do have a current Louis Vuitton giveaway going on at the moment. It is for the Louis Vuitton Mini Pochette Accessoire in the Demiera Ben Canvas. The rules of entry are quite simple. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and then to comment the word enter within the description box below followed by something that you are grateful for, and then to connect with me on Instagram to receive two bonus entries. All you have to do is go into my Instagram, look for my giveaway post, and tag two people that you think might be interested in this giveaway. If you guys clicked on this video, I'm making a little presumption that you might like Louis Vuitton. If you happen to enjoy Louis Vuitton as much as I do, mixed with some spiritual inspiration towards the end of my videos, please do consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button below. Also, if you tap on that notification bell, you will be notified every time I upload a video. So let the fun begin. Let's unbox and review this newly added Louis Vuitton piece, the Louis Vuitton Boat Chapeau Souple PM. I did go to the Louis Vuitton boutique store last night and picked it up because I did pre-order it. I do have the regular size Boat Chapeau Souple and I'm very impressed with that bag. So when I heard of this PM size, I was very intrigued. So I will just pull this off to the side and let the fun begin. Here we are opening it up. So here we go. Ah, it's just so cute. I just can't get over it. It's absolutely adorable. And here we have the Louis Vuitton Boat Chapeau Souple PM, or shall I say Boat Chapeau Souple Mini. As far as the dimensions to this adorable little piece, the length across is 6.7 inches. The height is 6.3 inches. And then the width across is 2.8 inches. Hopefully that gives you guys an idea as to the size of this bag, how small it is. It is a little baby, but I think that's what really, really draws me to this piece. I will be doing a comparison between the Boat Chapeau Souple and this Boat Chapeau Souple PM. What I love about this bag is that it's so very easy to adjust the strap. Because there are so many different settings, it really doesn't matter what your height, stature is, you are going to be able to wear it beautifully. Have you guys noticed that the leather looks a little bit on the darker side. That is because this bag features, which I think is absolutely wonderful, the pre-aged leather. And I adore that I see Louis Vuitton going in that direction. The reason why I love the pre-aged leather is because you're basically getting a gorgeous patina without having to work for one, and it will not darken like regular vachetta. On the top of this bag, there is a beautiful dual zipper. And when you open it up, take this out. A gorgeous beige interior and this bag, yay, happens to be made in France. And then there is also an interior pocket right here. I'm now going to show you guys what this bag does look like on, worn as a crossbody and over the shoulder. So let's just get right to it. This has to be the cutest piece within my Louis Vuitton collection and I hope you guys agree with me. This is what it looks like over the shoulder. I think it gives off a very cute, classy, and casual look. I love the fact that it's small. I love the fact that it's mini. I really, really like this bag. I fell in love with it at first sight when I tried it on in the store. Now I'm going to be showing you guys what this bag does look like cross body style. All I have to do is basically take this strap right here, adjust it to the right setting, and this is how it does look crossbody style. Another thing that I really love about this bag is the fact that it's super unique. I think the most comparable bag you'll find within the Louis Vuitton collection would be the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier size 25. And obviously that has a much different shape than this one. So hopefully that did give you guys an idea of what this bag does look like over the shoulder as well as crossbody. That was pretty fun. I did like trying that on. It got me even more excited about owning this piece. If you guys happen to have any comments or questions on this 
newly released item from Louis Vuitton, newly added item to my Louis Vuitton collection, the Louis Vuitton Boat Chapeau Souple PM. Please do leave them in the comment section below as I always love hearing from you guys. I'm now going to switch topics from this little cutie to doing a brief unboxing. This is something I did receive from my husband for Valentine's Day. I did have a very nice Valentine's Day. Our dinner lasted about three hours, so that says something. <laughs> it was wonderful. As the box says, it was purchased at Bloomingdale's. Opening it up looks like this, and we have a case. And within this case, we have a pair of beautiful sunglasses. I will definitely let you guys know what the style number is within the description box below if you're interested in them. There's absolutely no way for any sun to be able to get in my eyes. I also love the way that these fit my face so very comfortably. So if any of you guys are interested in these sunglasses, again, I will include the style number within the description box below. A quick little recap for you guys. They do look like this in the front and from the sides, they look like this. And this specific pair was made in Italy, which which I absolutely adore, yay, because my dad was Italian. He did pass away six years ago. I know I've mentioned this many times on my channel. Whenever a piece is made in Italy, it really adds that much more sentimental value to a piece and it really makes me enjoy the piece that much more. Again, any questions for these beautiful Chanel sunglasses or any questions for that Louis Vuitton Boat Chapeau Souple PM, please do leave those in the comment section below. I always love hearing from you guys. Okay, now is a time where I'm going to briefly conclude my video by switching topics of Louis Vuitton luxury to speaking of something that's definitely more insightful, motivational, and inspirational. Today, I wanted to go over the topic of doing the right thing when the wrong thing is happening. We will all go through situations in life where we will be tempted, tempted to react, tempted to not give it to God. God does say within the Bible to cast our cares upon him. Another thing he says is that he will always be your defender, your lawyer, and your vindicator. If we truly trust his words and we truly have faith, then we must cast whatever situation that is bothering us over to him. We really can only have it two ways. One is we take matters into our own hands and that usually blows up in our face and just doesn't end up right. Or we can just swallow our pride as hard as that is and give it over to God and watch him. It may take a little bit of time settle your case. We simply need to rise above situations. When people are being disrespectful to us, truly it's not you, it's them that has a problem. I see this a lot on social media. There's so much negativity and a lot of people just wanna bait you into an argument. I would highly suggest to never give in to that. Keep your peace, don't allow it to be stolen. No matter what the situation, it's simply not worth it to lose your peace. We always wanna keep our peace of mind intact Hacked. Why? Because peace equals happiness. And when people do hurt you, yes, it does hurt. But please remember, take the high road, trust in God, give it to God. He will make it up to you. You'll definitely have blessings for having the faith and just giving the situation to God. The high road is high up there for a reason because you stay above the drama, you stay above the trouble, you stay in peace. Let's all make it a goal to stay in peace and live the happiest lives possible and simply know that he's always with us. That's the most important thing I think is just to remember he's always with us. We're never alone and that's a beautiful fact. That is what I have to say on the topic of doing the right thing when the wrong thing is happening. If you guys happen to have any comments or questions on the topic I did just speak of and or I did get a little sidetracked there. I forgot. <laughs> Very excited. The new addition to my Louis Vuitton collection, the new addition to the Louis Vuitton brand, the Louis Vuitton Boat Chapeau Souple PM or the Chanel sunglasses that I did receive, please do leave those in the comment section below. I shall say it again, I love hearing from you guys. I thank you guys so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Until my next, which I am definitely looking forward to, you guys take care and I will be seeing you very, very soon. Bye.